I'm gonna get Ronnie over here. Ronnie D. Ronnie B. Yeah. I'm glad he dressed up even. What's up? Deep inside. Deep. I gotta tell you, Bruce, I love the wrong buzzer. I love that. <laughs> It almost it's sounds like the other show. buzzer, don't it? <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, Rico didn't like it too much, but you know, he lost. <laughs> <laughs> so you just did a live event in your studio last weekend. We did one last weekend. We're doing another one on Sunday, which is my record release, and um, we got interviewed for. Uh, ABC Action News yesterday, which aired today, which is pretty cool. And yeah, we're, we're living the dream this week anyway. We're trying to do the best we can, and I appreciate you having me on. Well, if you don't know Ronnie yet, we keep talking about him deep inside the music. He's a, a local musician and a, a, just a fantastic guy. He's got a studio off Omerton Road. He's uh, our, We're sponsoring him now, too, for his Deep Inside the Music on YouTube. That's right. Yeah. And uh, it's really cool. He goes in and breaks down these songs, and he's got a bunch of them up and a bunch of new ones coming out in September. So, uh, Ronnie, we need to get a intro song for our Stoner Talk Show. And uh, All right. Corey's wanting to get a little intro song. So anybody out there that needs music written or published or you need somewhere to do your own music, there's Ronnie D right there. Hey, get in touch with me. Um, I'm a producer, a songwriter, musician, and as of late, I have been uh, a YouTuber, which my kids love, obviously, but I love it too. I appreciate you guys jumping on board with us. What we do on our Deep Inside the Music show is we get the isolated tracks of iconic songs. So we'll take, uh, let's say on this new season, um, we have Give It Away Now by the Red Hot Chili Peppers which has Spanish and Pat Pat from the Mike Calta show. It's pretty epic and hysterical. Uh, might be a little intoxicated, but hey, this is real life. Hey, our ad's going to be on there, right? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Nice commercial from Utoy, and we mentioned you guys all over the place. But what we do on the show is we break the songs down to their individual elements so you can hear just the vocals, just the guitar. And when you hear this music out of context, it is astounding it freaks us out it makes the songs brand new and you hear things in there that you never heard before uh we have a saying that once you hear it like we hear it you'll never hear it the same way again because now you know what's in there well that one song you were showing me you could actually hear him pulling his cord you yeah hear that when they when he isolated try you kind of hear it like you had to pull his guitar cord yeah just, you know it's just a little shuffle Yes, and you, you, know, you hear on hidden uh, sounds once you clean up the music and you break it down to just one uh, like bass beat, you know? Yeah. You can hear everything. Yeah, well, we yeah, have... You um, can hear them even talking to each other sometimes. They're mumbling. Yeah, you hear... Uh, there's an episode up right now, uh, Aerosmith, Sweet Emotion, where you hear Steven Tyler just grunting and groaning and stomping around in between lines. You hear his headphones... Um, there's uh, a part on the Bohemian Rhapsody episode. Uh, at the end, Freddie Mercury is not happy with how he played piano. So at the very end, you hear that last chord starts to fade out. So where the record ends, it keeps going because we have the tracks. He slams the uh, piano lid down and goes, ah, fuck. And you hear him walk out of the room. It's but really cool. You know that's an artist dedicated to their craft. Yeah. That's priceless, man. Priceless. So the new season comes out. You got uh, how many songs up there now? Oh, man. We probably have 14 or 17 songs up there now. Yeah. And the how new many in the new season? New season is going to be uh, to start 10 episodes. And then cool, cool. Um, by the time we start posting them, that's going to be end of September, I believe. And you got to correct me on this, Bruce. You caught me last time. You're my proofreader now. I think it's the last Tuesday in September is the 27th. 27. Yeah, that's he, the deck. He, he gets, we do a deal. I, I, I throw him some coin. Then he puts a post up coming February 2023. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm but what you give me money now? And you get my ad. And he goes, oh shit, I put the wrong date. It, it might have been a little late at night when we posted that. 
Well, I don't know if you've been watching, but uh, Kayla and Corey have been making uh, <laughs> making us cannabis cocktails. And uh, when you mix them together, it's a whole nother thing. <laughs> yeah, Willie Bells and Lemon Jello, uh, along with the most of the cast of the Mike Calta show, and myself included, have huge praise for your hard lemonade. Nice, nice. Well, we love you, Ronnie. Anything else you want to throw in? You got this weekend, your album. What's the name of your album? Our album is called Dirty Rockers, and you know it. Now, Dirty Rockers was uh, part of, of a, a left-handed shitty review that we got uh, from a local uh, music mag, which shall remain nameless, but there's only one. So you could guess which one it was. But I'm not holding them responsible, but years ago, they gave us this review for one of our albums where they said, it sounds great, the songs are great, the performances are great, but why would you do that? But they just sound like a bunch of dirty rockers cashing in. So, Damn, I, I love, love dirty that. Rockers. I wear you that proudly, them. baby, that's like right. clean fucking rocker. That's right. You, know, you got your saxophone right there? No, I do not have it right here with me. But Man, next time I will. Got that thing right there. I'll honk you good, baby. I was, good, when I was a kid, but I, my mom bought me a clarinet, so that ruined that thing. <laughs> well, um, we're close to a sellout. If you guys were going to get tickets, anybody out there watching, go to my band's website, Ronnie D and the Superstars dot com, and you tickets are available. Room? Are you? You're probably going to sell out like nothing. Yeah, anymore. we're. The last report I got, and that was around 3.30 today, is there were only four tickets left. We can't go over the fire marshal's expectations yeah, that's what I was gonna say. or else we get shut down. But what it is, it's a VIP concert in a recording studio. It's not a bar. It's not a concert hall. It's not a theater. It's an intimate recording studio. You could get my breath right up on you, right in your face like this kind of thing, and you could see. But uh, in any case. What, what day is it? It is Sunday, this Sunday. Doors oh, are at yeah. six o'clock. I hope to see you guys come on through. Oh, I was gonna talk with the magician this Sunday. When is that gonna be? Uh... What is it, Sunday evening? Yes, yeah, Sunday evening, six uh, six o'clock at my yeah, recording if you studio. Four tickets, I might take a couple, but you'll be full. And you know, we didn't come last time because I knew you were gonna sell out. And... Well, we appreciate it, and that's the thing about this venue. It's very intimate, and. Yeah, it's a real interesting way to experience music. And uh, it's a listening party in that we're going to play acoustic, take pictures with people. And then after our little acoustic show, we're going to play the record through these giant speakers in there. So it's going to rattle your ass. It's going to be beautiful. Well, why don't I just take two tickets? And if I can't come, Corey and uh, uh, Kayla might come. So give me put two aside for me. I'll pay you tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> we love you, Ronnie D. Thanks All right. for making the time to see us. And, Thank uh, you very we'll much. Check this out and post it. God bless you. Ronnie D and the Superstars, new album this weekend, live party. If you don't, you can buy his album. And Deep Inside the Music, new uh, season. Lamontero September. and Willie Bells. And Willie Bells and Lemon Jello. Lemon That's right. Yellow. That's an awesome name. That is a great <laughs> name. They've got 17 uh, shows up now, so you don't have to wait to watch them. You can go sign up now, subscribe, and uh, enjoy the shit out of it. It's great stoner, chill, sitting at home when Netflix is sucking, right? That's right. Appreciate it. Peace out, brother. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Ronnie.